Well, kitty, I think it's time to get the dome off you. That seems to be blowing away. I was hoping I waited for the wind to die down today. She doesn't want to die down. So, this is probably going to be entertaining to you guys. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's try and do something with this tarp. Oh, man, I'm not looking forward to this. God, I love that flag. service sir painful than I was expecting you know a little bit of thinking utilizing your environment in this case tires hold her down yeah it worked out worked out pretty good so I've got somebody on their way with their computer to try and figure out what's wrong with you um, you're not giving me any codes but maybe he can figure it out by monitoring you I, I don't know. I'm a, Kitty, come on, girl. Please work with me. Let's 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 get on the road here. I I, I can't sit here forever. Like, come on, girl. You're a good girl. You just you gotta work with me, girl. All right. So I had someone come by, and they said. Uh, they, I put Kitty up on the computer and the only thing they could come up with that made any sense was uh, it was really slow turning over which caused a huge draw at the beginning um, and so it might be the starter now I bought this starter because I thought it blew the starter uh, the first day it's just a used starter um, I bought it because we thought we blew it but it's been turning so I thought oh okay well it's fine because it's still turning because well what do I know about vehicles right <laughs> I'm just a ding dong oh, I gotta get some tools okay let's get some tools here sorry about the camera work here I'm holding on to the GoPro trying to get it situated and I figured I'm gonna end up recording this with the GoPro anyway let's grab that Um, the way I see it, I should be able to get uh, the electrical and maybe the top bolt 
thanks to the five and a half inch lift on Kitty. Kitty, good job, girl. <laughs> um, because she has a five and a half inch lift, I'll be able to get in here and still have lots of room. All right, <laughs> that's handy. But the bottom, the other two bolts I'll have to get from the bottom, which I'll end up moving the camera for. But for now, I need a 15 and a 13. No, 15 and a 10. Take the electrical off. So let's get those off. I hope I can get in here this way. It looks like I can. I can only do one at a time. So. 13. I might not be able to get it from on top. This manifold and the frame are so close together. Let's see here. Where is that? Where's the first bolt? Ah, it's right up there. Yeah, I'll be able to get that from up here. I should be able to get that one first. It's my 13. 13. Extension. Actually, I'll put a swivel on it first. Extension. Then my ratchet. Put it on. Take off. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can get that in there. See if we can manipulate that back in there. Somehow, some way. Maybe not. Hold on. Anyway, I don't, I'm not going to do this to you guys. I'm going to do this. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to shut the camera off, and I'm going to, because I'm focused about the camera. Oh, let's see if we can get some light on there for you. All right. So, as you can see, my electrical is right there. There's also a bolt right up. Ooh, I can't get the camera just right should be a bolt right behind that looks like a wire going up right behind it there's a bolt up in there oh there you go i think you see it now right there at 13 up in there i think that's it but anyway i gotta get that bolt those two bolts and uh most people will do it in five minutes we'll see you in a couple hours and yes this time i remembered to take to disconnect the batteries <laughs> yeah yeah okay uh, anyway yeah, cause I knew the power uh, the starter there once I put once I pull it off um, it's gonna be hanging there right beside the frame and the frame tends to be the ground so I don't want that kind of sparking or that kind of crap underneath anyway bye all right guys Here's the honest truth. Uh, it's getting late in the day for me to um, learn how to take a starter out and put a new starter in. And uh, so I've been going fuse by fuse by fuse. I found another 10 mil that's blown plus a 30 mil or mil amp. And then, uh, but uh, that was his other diagnosis. Go through every fuse and figure that out. So, I told him I'm going to work on that tomorrow because it's getting late and my after dinner mint is affecting my motor capabilities. So, welcome to the French. Welcome to the Fringe.